In the afternoon of August 6, China's Long March 6A rocket successfully launched 18 commercial satellites, the first batch of the Qianfan constellation, into space. However, after completing its mission, the rocket's final stage exploded in Earth's orbit, breaking into nearly a thousand pieces of debris. This event is now considered the largest space debris incident in history. These uncontrolled fragments pose a serious threat to satellites in orbit. It's not yet clear if the Long March 6A rocket broke apart because it collided with something or due to an explosion from leftover fuel. The rocket uses multiple stages during its flight, which can sometimes create debris or other problems. China's Qianfan constellation is operated by Shanghai Spacecom Satellite Technology. Reports have pointed out that this constellation is also known as G60 Starlink, a project led by Shanghai Spacecom. With the satellites built by the Innovation Academy for Microsatellites of Chinese Academy of Sciences. The Qianfan constellation is part of China's plan to build a low Earth orbit satellite internet network. The plan has three phases. By 2025, 648 satellites will provide regional coverage. By 2027, global coverage will be achieved. And by 2030, 15,000 satellites will offer multi service connections, including direct links to mobile devices. The incident of China's Long March 6A rocket disintegrating in space has raised concerns once again about how China handles space junk. Chinese space officials have not yet responded to the incident. According to Voice of America, the rocket carrying these satellites exploded not long after deploying its payload, leaving behind a growing field of debris. A US-based space tracking company, Leo Labs, analyzed radar data and discovered that the rocket's final stage broke apart roughly 13.5 hours after launch. This breakup created at least 700 pieces of debris, with estimates indicating that the total could exceed 900. Another company, Slingshot Aerospace, based in California, called this a worrying development. They warned that even if a small percentage of future launches create this much debris, the amount of space junk in low Earth orbit will become unmanageable. Analysts say this cloud of debris floating about 500 miles above Earth could remain there for years. Audrey Schaefer, vice president of strategy at Slingshot Aerospace, told Reuters that over 1,100 satellites and other space objects now face the risk of colliding with these fragments from China. Some experts worry that the Long March 6A rocket's final stage has had similar issues before making it more likely that the problem was internal. The European Space Agency reports that there are currently about 10,000 spacecraft and 40,000 trackable pieces of debris orbiting Earth. China's Long March rockets have faced several issues in recent years. The Long March 6A rocket involved in the recent incident has experienced problems before. In April and July 2024, a Swiss company specializing in space monitoring S2A Systems detected dozens of pieces of debris around the upper stage of another Long March 6A rocket. On November 4, 2022, the uncontrolled debris from China's Long March 5B rocket fell to Earth, breaking into 533 trackable pieces. Western nations saw this as another reckless move by China's space agency. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson criticized the incident saying the lack of information made it difficult to predict the potential damage. China, however, claimed that the risk was very low. On April 29, 2021, China's Long March 5B Yao-2 rocket veered off course, drawing global attention. On May 8 of the same year, the U.S. Space Command confirmed that the rocket fell into the Indian Ocean. On March 18, 2021, China's Yunhai 102 satellite broke apart after being hit by a piece of space debris. In May 2020, the Long March 5B rocket carried a prototype of China's crewed spacecraft during its first launch. The rocket booster also experienced an uncontrolled re-entry, with debris raining down on a village in Côte d'Ivoire, Africa. Although there was damage to property, no one was injured. In April 2020, a Long March 3B rocket malfunctioned shortly after launch, destroying Indonesia's 220 million US dollar satellite Nusantara 2. This was a setback for Indonesia's efforts to strengthen its communications network. Reports indicated that this was China's second space failure in less than a month. Indonesia later turned to SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, as their preferred partner for satellite launches. In early 2018, debris from a Long March 3B rocket fell on a region in Guangxi, 
home to four million people. Even though there were no casualties, the falling debris spread elements from highly toxic fuel. Chinese state media rarely report such incidents. In 2009, Chinese film director Zhang Bozhang made a documentary called "Falling from the Sky." It highlighted the problems villagers in Suining County, Hunan Province, faced as rocket debris repeatedly fell on them since the 1990s. However, the film was banned by Chinese authorities. Space debris, also known as space junk, refers to all abandoned human-made objects in orbit. This includes fragments from multi-stage rockets and smaller pieces created when large debris collide. These uncontrolled fragments vary in shape and movement, making it difficult, if not impossible, to predict their paths accurately. Only estimates with certain margins of error can be made. Although each piece of space debris may be small, their speed can reach tens of thousands of meters per second. Even a small collision can cause major damage to a spacecraft. A collision could cause anything from a dent to a breach in the spacecraft's outer shell, leading to catastrophic consequences. Experts explain that in space, a piece of debris weighing only 10 grams has as much energy as a car moving at 100 kilometers per hour on Earth. A particle as small as a piece of dandruff could kill an astronaut working outside the spacecraft. Even dust, invisible to the naked eye, could be deadly. These pose serious threats to thousands of satellites. What's more concerning is that when two pieces of debris collide, the explosion caused by their high-speed impact can increase the number of fragments exponentially. Over time, space debris has accumulated, creating congestion in near-Earth orbit. This poses a major threat to satellites, rockets, and space stations. If space debris triggers a chain reaction of collisions, known as the Kessler syndrome, it could disrupt daily life on Earth because it would affect navigation, television, communication, and other activities that rely on satellites. China is competing for space resources and challenging the U.S., but their China Starlink project still faces many technical hurdles. What worries outsiders is that China has hundreds of launches planned for the Tianfen constellation. If the Long March 6A rocket's final stage disintegrates again, it will seriously threaten space safety. As more satellites are launched in the future, space debris is becoming a global issue. Why is China building the Tianfen constellation? Voice of America reported that the long-term goal for the Tianfen constellation is to deploy 15,000 low-Earth orbit satellites. These satellites will cover remote areas in China where communication infrastructure is lacking. This new satellite network is expanding rapidly, targeting countries along the Belt and Road Initiative as well as global markets. A report from the Center for Strategic and International Studies in December 2022. Stated that the Chinese government is funding its low Earth orbit broadband plan. Beijing wants to promote this network domestically and in the developing countries that it hopes to bring into its sphere of influence. Experts say the CCP is trying to challenge Elon Musk's Starlink program by building its own global network while also securing low Earth orbit positions and frequencies. This is to ensure the security of China's data. Reports suggest that China is also working hard to prevent foreign network technologies, including Starlink, from entering the country, with an aim to maintain the effectiveness of its Great Firewall. In 2021, China complained that SpaceX's Starlink satellites came too close to its space station twice, forcing the station to take emergency action to avoid collisions. In 2022, Elon Musk revealed that the CCP had asked him not to bring Starlink into China. China's Tianfen constellation project is just one small part of the larger satellite competition between the U.S. and China. In addition to Tianfen, China is working on two other major satellite projects. The GW constellation plans to launch about 13,000 satellites, while the Honghu 3 constellation aims to launch around 10,000. China is trying to strengthen its place in the global communications market. However, many experts believe that China is falling further and further behind SpaceX in rocket launch technology. SpaceX has been breaking records as it launches more Starlink satellites with improved capabilities. By March 2024, SpaceX has launched over 6,000 satellites and plans to deploy 12,000. This number could even rise to 34,400. A report by the Institute for National Defense and Security Research in Taiwan noted that low Earth orbit can hold around 60,000 satellites. 
Since Starlink plans to use 42,000 of those, China faces a major challenge in finding enough orbital space. China's military is also aware of Starlink's potential military uses. When Russia invaded Ukraine, Starlink terminals were deployed to the front lines. This marked a milestone in U.S. technology history. The event also made China realize the role Starlink plays in maintaining free communication networks, as well as the urgency of building a Made in China satellite network. In January, space policy expert Namrata Goswami said China observed that in the case of a Taiwan conflict, if the U.S. uses Starlink, then China's space force, the PLA Strategic Support Force, must be prepared to respond. Recently, Mark, host of an overseas Chinese military show Mark Space, said that Starlink's role in the Russian-Ukraine war has made the CCP especially worried about its military uses. This led China to create its own version of China Starlink. Mark explained that with the current technology, it's impossible to destroy the Starlink system, which gives the U.S. a huge advantage. It ensures that the U.S. military can keep secure communications during war, something the CCP fears greatly. The U.S. is closely watching China's progress in space and cyber capabilities, according to the Wall Street Journal. China is launching more rockets for both scientific and military purposes. Data from astrophysicist Jonathan McDowell shows that China conducted 66 space launches last year, compared to 38 in 2018. This year, China plans around 100 launches. In comparison, the U.S. successfully launched 104 times in 2023. Up from 31 five years ago, as both the U.S. and China invest more in space militarization, the competition is becoming more complex and unpredictable. China is trying to compete with the U.S. in many areas: communication networks, Earth observation, navigation systems, deep space exploration, military satellites, and space defense. But in the race between China and the U.S., the U.S. leads in both quantity and quality of satellites. SpaceX's StarShield division, created in December 2022, is building a satellite network for the U.S. National Reconnaissance Office. These satellites can quickly capture images of nearly any area on Earth, which assists the U.S. military greatly in spotting potential threats. Jonathan McDowell, a scientist at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, said that although China's space technology is catching up, it still lags slightly behind the U.S. In 2022, Chinese military researchers published a paper analyzing Starlink's abilities. They said Starlink presents potential risks and challenges for China. To counter this, they suggested improving space combat systems, securing more satellite frequencies and orbital resources, as well as developing new ways to disable Starlink satellites. Their approach includes both soft kill and hard kill methods to disrupt the Starlink system. In June 2023, Chinese state media published an article saying that in future space wars, knowing how to quickly and effectively seize low Earth orbit resources is the key to victory. They stressed the need to break Starlink's encirclement and said that controlling low Earth orbit is like controlling near Earth space. They claimed that whoever controls near Earth space controls Earth and decides the fate of humanity. In recent years, the U.S. and Japan have teamed up to boost their satellite surveillance and reconnaissance abilities, aiming these efforts at China. Japan plans to use solar-powered batteries to keep communication bases running for long periods in the stratosphere. They also plan to share information using the U.S. Starlink system, GPS, and Japan's quasi-Zenith satellite system. If a conflict breaks out in the Taiwan Strait, the U.S. and Japan will be able to coordinate quickly. Giving them control of the air and sea, Professor Lin Zhongnan of the Electrical Engineering Department at National Taiwan University recently commented that despite its poor economic conditions, China is still spending big on the Qianfan constellation. China wants to show off its self-sufficiency and prepared for a potential conflict with the U.S. Lin said that China is focusing on military development over human rights and people's welfare. Its goal is to compete with the U.S., even if it means going to war. Lin also pointed out that when Western countries trade with China, they are supporting a dictatorship and helping it grow stronger. Eventually, this could lead to China bullying the world or even attempting to dominate humanity. 
He warned that democratic societies like the U.S., the EU, Japan, and Taiwan need to fully understand China's intentions.